now in New Jersey. Powered by Tap Into. Brought to you by Lakeland Bank. And by Bag Up NJ, a public awareness campaign of the New Jersey Clean Communities Council. Thanks for joining us on this Friday, July 1st. I'm Christina Bear. A patriotic group from Sayreville gear up for the 4th of July. They posted American flags above the Garden State Parkway for the upcoming holiday, attaching them to the fence on an overpass. The group solicited donations to help purchase the flags this year and thanked everyone who contributed. The borough of Sayreville also stepped in to support the mission by agreeing to sign the insurance waiver that the Parkway Authority asked the volunteer group to sign. In 2021, the New Jersey Turnpike Authority instituted a policy that required them to get permits to be able to put the flags on the bridge. Two residents recognized for their contributions to art in Bernardsville. Tabana Basking Ridge reports the 2022 Mayor's Art Awards were awarded to Noah Hansen and Max Rodriguez. The awards were created by the Recreation Parks and Pathways Committee and the Parks and Recreation Department to honor those individuals and organizations who demonstrate dedication to the fine and performing arts in Bernards Township. Four Mercer County Corrections Officers graduate Police Academy. Deputy Hamilton Robbinsville reports Mercer County Executive Brian Hughes congratulated four Mercer County Correctional Police Officer candidates upon their graduation from the 110th Correctional Police Officer Academy. They were also congratulated at the graduation ceremony by the Mercer County Correction Center Warden. Up next, a new place to play baseball in Hawthorne. Welcome back. Officials in Hawthorne cut the ribbon on a brand new ball field. Tapping Hawthorne reports the Friends of Passaic County Parks was awarded a stewardship grant by the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection through their Green Acres program to make improvements to the landscape at Goffle Brook Park. The Passaic County Commissioner said the new facility is just another example of the commitment to providing recreational facilities for all of the towns in the county. To reach Tap Into's large local audience, visit tapintomarketing.net. Thank you for joining us. This has been Now in New Jersey, powered by Tap Into, brought to you by Lakeland Bank and Bag Up NJ, a public awareness campaign of the New Jersey Clean Communities Council.